The Edo State Chapter of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, don't raise serious concerns, say them they see pattern of harassment, illegal arrest and abduction of their chieftains by members of the Nigerian police force. PDP talks say these actions they carried out by policemen from the intelligence response team IRT for Abuja say them they led by CSP Ibrahim Abasa and say now the All Progressive Congress APC they fund them. The Director General Aswen Ogi Campaign Management Council Honorable Matthew Dwayne came in young to repeat for this one for one talk talk session on Sunday, August 18, 2024 for the PDP Secretariat for Benin City. According to PDP, these officers, they operate outside within they're supposed to do. They carry AK-47 rifles and other dangerous weapons, and they use Homer buses and Helios vans to do these things for Edo State. Them talk say DC Sanusi Mohammed from IROT, and DC Patrick Ejeda, where we people Sabi as Citadel from Urumi, Edo Central, now them they coordinate these things. Some of the people where them say they arrest include PDP members like Mr. Amos Tom and Honorable Kingsley Osahon, where be councillor for Esa Northeast local government area. According to the PDP, right now nobody sabi where these people they. The party constitutes talks say them don't compile list of PDP chieftains, including Chief Odion Olaye, Chief Francis Inegbeniki, Chief B. Olukoga, Mr. Festus Osaibobo, and Dr. Kelly Inedegbo, among others, where they plan to arrest to weaken PDP before the gubernatorial election we go shelle on September 21, 2024. On top of that one, the PDP also accused former Deputy Governor Honorable Philip Shaibu, according to the DG of campaign Honorable Marty Dwayikeme, say he made threats against the party during one rally for one of the senatorial districts where don't they make tension they rise more. The party they call on civil society organizations, CSOs, other stakeholders and the international community say made them they watch the situation for Edo State well well so that police no go spoil the electoral process. Say as the election they near, PDP they beg Nigerian police force say make them act professional professionally and not allow themselves to be used as tool for political gain by APC. The party constitutes talks say they remain committed to campaign and win the election through legit means with their candidate Dr. Aswa Ngodalu despite all the plenty wahala with them they face. We could not hear from the Director General Aswa Oge Campaign Management Council Honorable Matthew Dwayikeme as seen the young Tory people this matter. It was Abraham Lincoln who defined democracy as the government of the people by the people and for the people. Therefore, every person who is a Democrat, what separates the Democrat from the dictator, what separates democracy from totalitarian rule, is the participation by the persons who are to be governed. There is no Nigerian version of democracy. It's either we are democratic in Nigeria or we are not democratic at all. I think that brings us into this press conference, which is titled that the Edo State PDP decries the harassment, unlawful arrest, and abduction of party chieftains by the Nigerian police. It has become imperative to highlight the disturbing pattern of harassment, unlawful arrest, and the kidnap of chieftains of the Edo State chapter of the People's Democratic Party across the three senatorial districts of the state by some policemen suspected to be from the intelligence response team, IROT, in Abuja, who are believed to have been paid huge sums of money by the All Progressive Congress. We say this because We've had petitions sent to the same Nigerian police on the activities of members of the All Progressive Congress, and up to now, not one of them, I repeat, not one of them has been invited by the police or arrested or questioned or granted bail. You will all recall that the Deputy Director General in charge of media and publicity was not only invited by the police, <coughs> where he was in a hotel seeing some persons, Protea Hotel to be specific. A team of policemen led by Deputy Commissioner of Police invaded the hotel premises and arre arrested him for statements that he said was capable of igniting violence during the campaigns. And what, what, what did he say? He only lamented 
the non presence of in, of adequate publicity materials of the PDP at the King Square. Not only was he arrested, he was arrested and immediately charged to court. As we speak, the Deputy Director General in charge of media publicity is on bail by the court. But every petition that we have written, the police has kept them in view without acting on it. The police officers allegedly led by one CSP, Ibrahim Angbasa, have been operating behind the scope of their job, carrying AK-47 rifles and other dangerous weapons, are moving around the state in Homer buses and Hillos vans to harass, abduct our party chieftains across the state. These policemen are said to be deployed by one DC, Sanusi Mohammed of the ROT Force Headquarters in Abuja. Another police officer, a Deputy Commissioner of Police by the name Patrick Ejedawe from Urumiedo State, popularly called Citadel, is also said to be active, to be in active connivance with these unauthorized police officers to carry out these dastardly acts in Edo State. These policemen have since the onset of their sinister operations, arrested some of our party members, including Mr. Amos Tom, a poor of staff who was picked up around Muratala Mohamed Way on trump up allegations. He has been with the police for over three weeks without being charged to court, and no charge has been preferred against him. But he's been kept, and we all know what their strategy is to possibly keep them till after elections. Any of them that they find that they have political value in their various political units, they are trying to take them out of circulation. And we would like to remind the Nigerian police that this is not military rule. Even when the military was midwifing democracy before 1999, we never had such use of security agents and agencies to oppress people who was who was seen to be of divergent political views. They also arrested one Kingsley Osaon, the councillor representing what ten in the Northeast local government area, along with others whose whereabouts are currently unknown. That of Kingsley Osaon, someone went to look for him. We, are, we know now that it's at the state CID. But when they went to look for him, the police there said he was not in their custody until he had to shout when he heard his friend's voice to say that he was there. We don't know what kind of policing that is. We are also aware that they have compiled a list of prominent PDP chieftains from across the state's three senatorial districts and even procured fake court warrants of arrest with names of PDP members whom they plan to abduct to weaken the PDP ahead of the forthcoming gubernatorial election scheduled for the 21st of September 2024. Among the names, but not limited to these people, on that list, including Odi Olaye, one of our leaders from the local government, Chief Francis Elek Beneki, who until he resigned from the APC, was the vice chairman of the APC in the Central Senatorial District, just two days before his official decamping to PDP, they added his name to the list. Chief Babadudu Olukoga, Mr. Festo Sosagobo, who is the DG of the Edo State Liaison Office in Abuja. Dr. Kelly Inedebo, who is the current chairman of Eastern Northeast Local Government Area, amongst others whose identities we are yet to confirm. It is rather unfortunate that while the PDP is diligently working moving from world to world, and local government to local go government, actively campaigning ac across various platforms, articulating the programs and initiatives for the people of Edo State. The APC is attempting to weaponize the police against the people because they know they have a defective and unmarketable candidate and cannot win under any circumstance in a free, fair, and credible election. Their only strategy is to use what the term federal might 
to harass and intimidate opposition parties into submissions in their quest to secure electoral victory through subterfuge. They are spreading fake, fake news. They try to disenfranchise the people by saying the PDP is not on the ballot so that people do not see any reason to go and vote. One of their leaders, a former governor of this state, openly said it on national television, shamelessly, that the PDP have no candidate and they couldn't substantiate it. Two days after that, show of shame, we heard that the APC had gone to federal High court to go and challenge the primaries of PDP. Where we all know that the Electoral Act does not allow another party to delve into the primaries of another political party. Because the Supreme Court has decided that several, on, several, on, se on several occasions that the issue of party primaries is purely within the domestic purview of a political party. The police officers who are being compromised to do the wishes of the APC must remember that they are funded by the taxpayers' money and must not allow themselves to be used by the APC against the people in pursuit of their selfish political gains. The Nigerian police is for all Nigerians and not for some powerful members or a select few of the ruling party and the federal government. At the rally, which you all saw of the APC in Edo North uh, last week, the former Deputy Governor of Edo State, Honorable Philip Tribe, was boasting and issuing threats to PDP, daring them to come out that day if they have two heads. He even boasted that only one act from him has sent the PDP hiding. And for that said, there are scenes two, three, four, and five. Even after issuing those threats, as we speak, the police did not even call him to caution him. But when Reverend Lou Martins made a statement inside PDP campaign office, the police sent a team led by Deputy Commissioner of Police to go and meet him in a public place without inviting him and arrested him. With no caution as to what you said is likely to cause a breach of peace, the police hurriedly charged him. Up to now, Philip Saibu has not been called to order. The police has not invited him. We are not aware that any law enforcement agency has called him. This has given credence to our shouts that what the APC sponsored are committed at the airport, on airport road in Benin on the 18th of July, the day he came to try to violently take over office, was scripted from Abuja with the NPC gubernatorial candidate. We all recall that on that day, they had more than 70 mobile policemen and security operatives with them. And at the end of, we saw people talks, talks that can be identified carrying dangerous weapons, including AK-47, pump actions, and all those things. And nobody arrested them. We've made our complaints. We've written petitions. As we speak, not one of those persons have been invited by the police. For goodness sake, the Nigerian police belongs to all Nigerians, and the Nigerian police is for all Nigerians and not for a select few members of the APC who are in Abuja. It is pertinent to note that the days in which political parties win elections by wanton intimidation are far gone, and that though people are going to stand firm in resistance to any form of harassment and intimidation by any group of persons, no matter how highly placed. We also want to categorically state that the Nigerian police force is not on the ballot for the September 21st governorship election in Edo State. As it now appears to us that we are now contesting against the APC slash the Nigerian police. It is therefore important that they, in the interest of peace and security in the state and country, 
read the mood of the nation and conduct themselves professionally as we approach the elections and ensure that they maintain law and order, which is their constitutional responsibility. We believe that this devious resort to harassment and intimidation is a recipe for anarchy. And we are therefore calling on the Inspector General of Police, who we know is a highly seasoned police man. The AIG Zone 5, the those State Commission of Police and other security agencies to step in and stop these harassments and intimidation by this suspended band of APC police operatives believed to be on illegal duty to prevent a descent to anarchy in those state. Because I do not think that they have the authorization of the, of this, the federal police to be operating in this Gestapo way by going to bust people in their houses without no petition, nothing. At the end of the day, they will not come up with drop up charges to get court orders to, to keep them till after the election. We also call on civil society organizations, other stakeholders, and the international community to turn their attention to Edo State and take note of this rather disturbing pattern of harassment and intimidation by the police as sponsored by the APC in the build up to the Edo State Governorship election slated for September 21. Efforts must be intensified to monitor activities leading up to the elections to ensure that government institutions, especially the police, do not undermine the wishes of the people at the polls. As a responsible party and campaign organization, we shall continue to abide by the rules of engagement as spelled out in the Constitution and the Electoral Act. We will continue to market our candidates to other people and resist every form of harassment and intimidation by any institution or agency of government. One thing I'm, now, I'm going to tell you is that come September 21, Edo people will come out en masse to show their resolve to remain under the umbrella of the PDP in the state by casting their votes for their preferred candidate, Dr. Aswe Yodaro. No amount of threat, intimidation, or harassment we stop the people or hinder the defeat that awaits the APC at the polls. This report, this signed by Director General Aswen Oge Campaign Management Council, Honorable Mati Dweikeme, make could not forget say, as we see him, now so we they talk him, we not they take blame. From Benin City, Ekata Ojisele, TMC TV News.